having a wedding party. We are having a wedding party. Yeah, we got married uh, kind of, you know, it's a family only kind of private yeah. affair. No friends, like 20 people. Yeah, so we have obviously a, a few very close friends that feel, you know, not left out, but you know, it would have- it would have. I have 50 that I'm bringing. There's, yeah, some of them actually were really annoyed. If someone... I was also pregnant though, remember? I didn't get to have that much fun. Spencer was still on the, so he was, he missed a lot yeah. of the wedding too. Yeah, it wasn't great. So we're gonna do a renewal of vows, speeches. A big massive wedding party and for all of our friends and for us, it's gonna be spectacular. Today we are having the best day ever because we are here to try and find my wedding dress. Well, where do we start now? I'm not really sure where to start. Kate is the expert. Wow. You tell us what we need to do. I've enlisted the help of my friends Millie. She's had her own fashion label. Uh, I love everything that she wears. Vogue just look great and everything. So gorgeous. What could be more fun? It's just like playing dress up and in such beautiful clothes as well. Matthew is my hairdresser. He always gives me outfit tips. I love you in that silhouette though, because your legs look like 20 feet long. And my mom, Sandra, who's over. That is really, wow. really they beautiful. Even... So if I wear something that doesn't suit me, she will tell me straight away. Well, the last time I didn't uh, pick a wedding dress with Vogue, so this time it's very nice that I'm there and I'm enjoying the experience. I have thought of having like a jumpsuit with something like this. Now, I knew that shop was nice because I'd seen it on Instagram, but it blew my mind. Oh, We're going to start, guys. We'll be back. It wasn't that I wasn't going to be able to find something to wear. It's that I wanted to wear everything. No, I think I prefer the other top. Other top because your shoulders are so beautiful. I think it's quite nice to the see. This is designed by you. <laughs> oh, I love... Oh, those trousers are beautiful, too. Boy. I thought you'd like these trousers. Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you. Yeah. <gasps> I love that. I'm really thinking I might need two outfits. You want like a tailored one well, first like, and then a, a really, dress? like glam one like this for the wedding and then a dancing one. What I had planned and thought about in my mind to wear completely went out the window. I'm wearing nothing that's even similar to it and instead I came out with two amazing outfits. Well now I'm a bit intrigued. What do they look like? I'm not telling you. I might see if my tailor can do like a reversible suit, you know, so that when I, I'll come and do the wedding day bit and then I'll just like take my jacket off and reverse it and then put it on. <laughs> see what that looks like for my second outfit. Would you be able to dance in it? I, like, no, I can't no, wear I... two high heels because Spencer's no. were the same no, height. No, because... When I wear heels, I'm like 6'2", but because of I'm, yeah. I'm taller than you, so. A millimetre taller than me. Yeah. Hey, the second, did, you hear, did you hear the second part of that? A millimetre what? Sven, I wouldn't be like that boasting about a millimetre. You're still small for a boy. Are we thinking shorter? shorter. I think if you're going to go short, you need to be like sh slutty short. Yeah, I agree. Um, oh, what? I... When a short guy, yeah, has a ridiculously good looking taller wife, you're either very funny, very minted, or you're an absolute animal in bed. You are very funny. I happen to be all three of those things. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's what people must assume when they see me in Vogue walking down the street. Shitting hell, he is a rich, funny animal in the sack. And I don't mind being associated with any of those things. I would have said bunny out of the three.